Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. I'm AC Gamer. This is Safe for Night. And we are going to be continuing where we left off. Now, we are in Thundering Steps. I'm a level 25 mage. Cypher is a level 26 wizard. And we are kicking... 27 wizard, actually. Yeah, he leveled up there. And we are yep. kicking some serious butt over here. We've gotten quite a few quests. Haven't finished any of them off completely. We did do the one where we needed to kill off the foot soldiers over in the... Uh, the little gorge or whatever you want to call it underneath the bridges. Yeah. But we haven't turned that one in yet. We do have a few more quests that we have just recently picked up. And I'm going to lower down the music volume just slightly. Let me know, guys, if uh, that's too low or not. But we are now going to be heading out of this tower now that we've gotten everything. We have to actually go to three more towers and pick up the orders that were sitting right here on uh, this one, anyways. The other ones might be in different locations. But let's go back over here to this tower. We're also going to be looking for more quests that might be available in this region. And we're also trying to pick up any new discovery points that are on the map. Because you do get experience for those. Actually, quite a bit of experience. We're looking for any beastins that might be in the area. Because we do need foodstuffs. Up to 100 foodstuffs. And right now, I believe yep. I have 91. And Cypher has... 50 something yeah not too much so he, he needs a yeah. lot more than i do and it looks like there's some out here so we're gonna let cypher get that beast in right there while we're killing this thing and it looks like in the distance there's some plain shrubberies and there is a shiny out there and you guys know exactly what happens when there's shinies in the area we we have to go get them just you know it's a given yeah. and there's a level 100 monk. requirement there's a level 100 <laughs> monk out here so he might be going after shinies who knows I doubt it, but, you know, it's possible. <laughs> Let's see if we can snag this one. Now, we are doing Need Before Greed on our quest, or the uh, the group, I should say. So let's go ahead and hit Greed on that one. It looks like I won. I am going to put it into the smallest one we can find. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this Beast in while Cypher is getting those two other ones. Now, the Beast Inns, yeah. for whatever they're worth... Sometimes you get incredibly lucky. Sometimes you get like 10 or 15 pig meat out of it. Most of the time you do not. So I just got a couple pieces of pig meat out of that. It gets me up to 95. But there are uh, some shrubs right there. Cypher's going straight for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks like he might get attacked by the scarecrow. Or is it not attacking you? I'm, I want to just zoom in and look at this thing real quick. Oh, uh, there he goes. See, now he's awesome. attacking you. Yeah, yep. they have a lot of stuff for the Halloween events, and some of the stuff you can get are creatures like this that you can put inside your house. Really, really, really yes. cool. Oh, he already killed oh, him dude, right there. his face broke on the ground. Yeah, yeah, you broke the jack-o'-lantern, man. You're so evil, dude. Another right. one on me. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. <laughs> Now, I don't do nearly as much damage as Cypher does, but I do try, and I have a pet, so... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, so you got that one. I believe there was another one over here you might be able to snag. Man, 89. Okay, so uh, there is a beast in to my left and a uh, high plane shrubbery to my right. Although you're probably going to get attacked. Yep, there you go. I'll just go ahead and see if yeah. can snag this off of you. Kill these really quickly, and then we'll go check out that tower over there in the distance. Oh, and a small chest. What do we got? Oh, the Treaty for Treasure. It's green. It offers the the quest. So I'm going to go ahead and hit greed on them, and we'll see who wins. Uh, if ever wins that one, I believe you would not be able to share that, but you can go ahead and give it a shot, see if maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong on that. Okay, one second. While you're doing that, I am going to go grab the beast in over here go ahead and read that quest off to us we might have to kill multiple creatures over here see if we can get another one of those 97 out of 100 come on see. give it to me where in the world it put it you should be able to look down in the um the chat bar and see that you want it and if you click on it that way it should open it up so you don't actually have to go into your your backpacks to find it okay let me Scroll all the way down. And, and you see where it says you won? See the Jesper amulet? 
yes. Right, so click that, and it should pop up the inspection window. Um, we of the Steadfoot tribe are putting forth a welcome to the blood savers. We have made a discovery that you will find worth your trouble to help us. Okay. That's it. I guess. Yeah, let me what see it? if I can find. I'm trying to look for the quest now. Do you remember what type of creature we killed to get that? Just an undead caretaker? I uh, believe. It's undead. Um, let's see. Yeah, I cannot share it. Yeah, I didn't think you would be able to. Sometimes, very, very rarely do you get a quest like that that you need an actual physical item to get uh, that you can share. But it happens from time to time, so you might want to check it if you're in a group. Uh, you could help uh, a lot of people out. Sometimes they're repeatable, and once somebody has gotten it already, then you can share it when somebody else gets it again. There is a um, high plane shrub right here if you want to grab this one. Or are you already going after one? No. Oh, I got aggro. That's right. As Killing a few of these guys off while we, uh, while we wait. Norm. Now, I do really, really love that earthquake spell. The illusion that comes off of that one only gets bigger the more mobs you are taking on. So, very, very cool. Did you get the shrub already? No, I, I, um, I was look, looking for another one. And I have three mobs on me. Uh, bring him back. back. Yeah, we'll kill all of those. I got my, my area yeah. effects up. Alright, here we go. Area effect going off. Ooh, yeah. Shaking the planet, guys. Can't wait to use that one in like a raid situation, get everybody killed. <laughs> <laughs> area effects in these games can be very, very nasty. Yep. But oddly, uh, though you have died once, um, I, I have oddly died death once. isn't a normal thing in this version of, of EverQuest. Not, which not, is good. not at this level. I mean, when you get to higher levels and you start taking on bigger mobs, especially if you start going in instances like dungeons, uh, death does become more of a common. I mean, this game yeah. is not super easy in that regard, but they do try to make it a little bit easier for people to at least somewhat solo on their own or group with a couple of people in the open. Like, you know, the mobs themselves aren't overly tough. Um, but that does change, especially when you get into, like, heroic mobs. So it comes down to what your particular style of gameplay is. Are you looking for a challenge? Are you looking to just finish off some quests so you can get some quick levels? Uh, it's, this is a lot of that kind of stuff going on. There's a beast in right here. Did you get everything you needed? Uh, no, not yet. I thought you were reloading this one. No, no, I'm already done. I got, I got all mine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just been clearing it for you. I've been trying to hopefully get that same quest you got. Doesn't seem like it's dropping. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> maybe have to come back and get that one, but. At least as long as one of us finishes it off, you guys can go over there and watch on Cypher's channel, see what the reward is, see what the the whole quest kind of looked like from start to finish. And, uh, yeah, we, we might get more, so... We'll just keep it up until Cypher gets the rest of his. I don't think he needs too many more. I'm done. Oh, you're done? Alright, sweet. Let's go and check out this tower. Can we go down into this Helping for Duggins, right? Yeah. Or Tiffin for Duggins. Yeah. I don't think we need to go um, down be there. Be aware. Be very wary of that area. Anywhere where the gnolls are, they can pull you into the split paw. Alright, so here's another report. We're going to go ahead and snag that one. That's two out of four collected. Let's check the furniture. Last time there was something on one of the furnitures you could do. Anytime you see books, you always want to check those as well. Uh, anything up? Ooh. A rug. Fever was here. Yeah. Oh, he snagged it before we did. All right. So <laughs> look at that, guys. This is a beautiful yeah. rug. Looks like uh, a knight and maybe a jester. I don't know. Can't quite tell what classes they are, but they're definitely out and about. Very, very nice. I like it. So Fever was here. Um, I believe that lasts for a couple hours at least. Yep. We now have to go the opposite direction to find the other tower. 
Ooh, Ooh there's a feather. Uh, we can't use that, I don't believe. There is a quest over here, though. Let's check this out. Actually, two quests. So this one is going to be oh. repeatable. Is it repeatable or heroic? Me family sent me out for provisions, and I hurt me back, lifting me pack. I come from a family of miners and boulder bashers. I would never hear the end of it. Can you help me kill enough beasts to get the provisions I need? Yes, I will help you. So, hunting for a trapper, Borgus. Level 19 quest, so we probably should have done these earlier. 7 silver and 95 copper. Let's go ahead and hit, hit accept. Hi, thank you. And me back, thanks you. I just need several of each kind of steps go. that wander in these parts. They should provide enough food for the coming months. Slay them and bring their bodies to me. All right, I'm ready to hunt. So there is another quest up here. And I think every time you talk to him, he tells you to go off and hunt different creatures, if I'm not mistaken. So, Jakus? Greetings. Jakus. Do you need... Dude. Oh, you go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, no, go. Do you need any mail delivered, friend? You can't trust anyone with an important message. You need only the best. Me. Why not my uh, many... Wait, wait. Why? Not many can survive the dangers of the thundering stubs. Many are devoured by bears, slaughtered by centaurs, robbed by gnomes, or flattened by giants. And you survive all of this to deliver the mail? Indeed, why nothing could deter me from my duties here? I fear nothing, though I, um, have pressing business here at the moment and could use a new assistant to deliver a few things for me. Well, I could do the job, or I could use a job. Ah, oh, wonderful. You look like a good runner. Welcome to the exciting world of professional mail delivery. Danger, excitement, angry dogs. You might even earn some money. Not as much as me, of course, but we'll all have to start somewhere. But we all have to start. Whatever. Just as long as you pay me to face all the dangers for you. <laughs> But Geiler scuffs. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, not better than what I already have. No. But, you know, 10 intel, 30, or 11 stamina, 7 defense, 54 mitigation. It is level 20. So I guess that is, you know, it's a little lower than we are. But still, you know, something that yep. we can do. And this is a part one quest. So he may give us another quest after this, which leads to something even better down the road. So, yeah, let's go ahead and accept. Indeed. For your first delivery, please take this letter to a halfling named Bertleton <laughs> Blurton Bumble. Blumble. Oh my goodness, names. He can usually be found at the docks. It's from his cousin Masty. Matsy? Now that you work for me, feel free to read any what? Any letters you deliver. I always do. It's just about the only fun to be found out here. After you've delivered it, bring me back any mail he has to send. Okay? <laughs> All right. So if we click on the letter to read it, as he has suggested, it says, uh, Dear Blurdleton, how are you doing these days? I won't even bother trying to convince you to settle down with a nice halfling girl. I think I know better that uh, after my last attempt to set you up with a nice girl in the bubble shire, I'm afraid word has spread about your antics, and you won't get such a warm reception on any future visits. Honestly, you really shouldn't say such rude things in gentle company. So, she isn't exactly beautiful, and her teeth aren't perfect. There are plenty of worse things a girl could do than, uh... Habitually bite her toe. Ooh, really, just that's habitually bite her toenails. 
That is disgusting. She doesn't look at yeah. all like a horse. I overheard her brothers talking last week, and I think it would be best if you kept away from Kinos entirely for a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and read more. Anyways, I'm writing to tell you that uh, Grandpa Blubble... Bubble? Bl hey, I don't know about these names. Seems to have gone and gotten lost again. Last time we found him asleep on the northern beach over in Thundering Steps. Could you possibly go find him and see that uh, he hasn't fallen in a hole or something? I do hope he hasn't gotten himself into trouble, uh, Matsy. So I'm pretty sure once we turn this quest in, that will be the next quest that we have. And it gave us a little bit yep. of a clue about that by reading his letters, which uh, I guess in Antonica is not a federal offense. Uh, in real life, it is, guys. So, yeah, don't, don't open other people's mail. <laughs> so yep. mm -hmm. I uh, I would say let's go and turn that in since we're very, very close to that area anyways. And that's definitely going to lead have us. to go the other way anyway. Yeah, we have to um, turn in a few of our quests. But let's just check out this area without getting into too many fights. A uh, distressed merchant. I guess we can't do anything with this guy. I beg of you to help me. Those foul beasts has blocked off my escape. Help me, help me, help me. Ah, here we go. Uh, are they coming? Okay. The undead settlers are coming, maybe? Maybe. Uh, they did kind of pop you up. No, you're not surrounded, lady. You can leave. Oh, no, no, she can't leave. Maybe once we kill these things, uh, she'll have oh. a, a quest pop up. So I'm just on there. Let's see if we can pick up a whole bunch. Of, ah, here they come. Woo, look at all those. I'm doing area effects. Uh, back to work, boys. We don't have all eternity to get this done. Ah, uh, there's an undead overseer right there. Let's kill yep. the undead overseer as quick as possible. Hopefully, uh, he does not kill me. Ooh, yeah. I think my guy really shines with the area effects. Not so much with anything else, but area effects. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it was, uh, yeah, a little bit of poison there. A little bit of, you know, 11 strength, 11 agility, 11 stamina. Mm, I'm going to hit uh, Declan on that one, because I don't think we're going to use it. Really? Don't want money? Eh, you know, I mean, you can take it apart. You can transmute it for sure if it's treasure. But my yeah, backpacks are pretty, uh, pretty cluttered at the moment. Let's go ahead and loot all these. A piece of zombie flesh. I have already done that quest, so we'll leave that one there. Maybe Cypher can use it. Uh, okay, so I've already passed on those, I guess. Ah, a new treaty for treasure. I'm going to go ahead and hit need on this one since you already have it. Yep. Let's go ahead and grab that level 19. We'll accept. And uh, do, 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 putting forth a welcome to the Blood Sabers. We have made a discovery that we'll find worthy of your trouble to help us. I need you to find the cove. Okay, so it was there for a second, and I believe we don't have enough space for all of the quests that we have up. So let's go ahead yeah. and get rid of... Um, do, 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 do. Let's... Uh, Hatton's Earring, I think we can take off because that's probably not in the zone. Um, yeah, the Treaty it, for Treasure, there we go. It's a level 30 anyway. Treaty for Treasure. I need to find the cove at the southern tip of the Dead River. Okay, so that's definitely with on our grasp to do. Let's kill this last yep. farmer and see if maybe when we go back to her, she has something new to say. What do you got to say now? Uh, over here, maybe? I bet you can't even do it. I bet we're just killing these things for no reason. We are getting experience, yep. AAs, and you know those types of things. And we got a named out of it, so again, not too horrible. And I'm rooted, so I can't even move. Come on, there we go. I'm dead farmer. Yeah, she's not doing anything. I don't think she will. I just want to double check, make sure. Yep, still nothing. Oh, there it oh, goes. Oh, wait a minute. 
That was very brave of you. I need to leave soon, but I can only offer my services in the meantime. So now, because we cleared all those away, we can actually uh, sell to her. She can repair all of her equipment. So I'm going to go ahead and re hit repair on that. Uh, what is she... What is she selling? Or what do we can buy from her? So, do, do, do poisons? Creature catalog, dried meat, enchanted lands, creature catalog. Offers the quest, so we could get that one if we decided to. Uh, I think we'll wait on that one for now. Halls of the Dead, creature catalog. That one is uh, definitely over here. We could do that one. Got some meat pies in there. Dectola's creature catalog. Wow, so she's going to sell all those. Remedy, mm. small bag. Hmm. Zek. So what about the steps? What if we get the steps creature catalog? I'm going to go ahead and buy that for 34 silver. Open that okay, up. Okay, I don't know if it's worth getting me. Let's go into our bags. Where is that book? Where did it put it? To advanced. Let's uh, examine. Nope. We gotta read it, I guess. All right. So when we read it, it pops up with a quest level thirty-five. It wants us to catalog all the creatures that I have read inside that book. We'll accept the quest. I must find a fledgling antelope. Hmm. I definitely want to leave that up. I don't know if we have enough space for it. Yeah, we're going to have to make room in our journal here. So let's see. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh, she disappeared? Yeah. She wasn't lying when she, can, um, when she said, I can only offer my services for a little bit. <laughs> Let's actually go back to that. Can I share it? No, I cannot share that. So you can't get that one after all then, huh? No, I already have to wait until the... Ah, uh, you know what? Response. Yeah, yeah, all these undead guys will respawn and you'll be able to get that one again. Let me go into my combat journal. Combat... Where is it at? My spells. Knowledge? There we go. Um, abilities. Mm, I don't see it in there. Collecting, gathering. Catalog creature. There we go. So we're going to need that up here somewhere on our thing. Okay, so I guess we'll come back and get that one for you. Yep. We'll have to wait for all that. But we're going to check over here on the side. Just see what's going on. Ah, I do see. I find a... Ah, oh, there okay. is a dungeon over here. There's also a few creatures that I need. I need the uh, saber tooth hunter. So we'll, we'll wait on these, but yeah, look at that. There's there's some tunnels over here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to take a look at these. Should have bought the book, dude. Hey, I was the thing. Actually, let's see. Where is the docks? Oh, it's over there. We're, yeah, we're at. yeah, we're heading back over there. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a thing on the ground over here. I'm sort of thing. That leads to a quest line. If I remember correctly. Ah, there's some sand right here. X marks the spot. Select the destination, a pirate hidden stash or a heroic pirate hidden stash. Should we try it? Um, which one do you want to do? Um, let's try the heroic we, one. I was about to say, we could probably try the heroic. We just got to be extra careful. So I went ahead mm -hmm. and hit it. Did it zone you in with me? Uh, I am zoning in, yes. Okay, so it zoned us as a group. I guess the leader doesn't have to be the one that actually does it. Uh, this may be too hard for us to do. It may be too low for us. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't remember doing this back in the day, so this might be something new. Or it's just something maybe I missed from way back when. Yep. Okay. All right. There's the cave, so we can leave and go back. Uh, these guys are level 22 heroic. Only one arrow up, but they are grouped as threes. 
So if you're ready, I will go ahead and pull them. Sorry, I was using my uh, AOEs that are uh, for group mobs. Ah, uh, that's fine. And it looks like we are wiping the floor with these guys. Holy crap, yeah, that, that did not take too much time. Let's nope. see, what are we going to get out of that? Nothing in the chest? I looted a uh, rusty pirate dagger. Why did I loot that automatically? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I know why. Oh, did you, oops. Did you change the way the group worked? Uh, I changed it so that uh, um, it r automatically ran them for items that are uh, uh, below treasure. Oh, well, that's not good. If it's below treasure, I don't even want to loot it. Okay, you guys are dead. Let's see. Oh, all right, so we're going to get a little bit more of a... Yeah, 23. Two arrows down. These guys should be super, super easy. Yep. I <laughs> didn't even get to use mine. All right, so we got some documents there. What about these barrels? Can we explode them? Nope, nothing to do with those barrels. Mm -mm. Some more of the frog forgers? Yeah, I'm glad we came into the heroic one, because this, this is definitely easy, and if we had come into the other one, it would have been way too easy. It would have been... Too Hopefully it gets harder. Maybe there's a named in here. Maybe. I don't know if you can change that loot so that we can, you know, like I can pass on that stuff. Uh, yeah. Cause I don't have a lot of space in my backpack. I don't want. I don't want any of that junk. Still relic? Yeah, I'll take those. Alright, so I changed it so everything is... Um... You have to select if you want to loot or oh, not. Okay. Uh, that sounds good to me. Thank you. No problem. You know, I don't see these rats doing anything too special yet. Are they casting anything on you or damaging you with anything? Not really. Usually when they say heroic, I expect heroic plus three. Uh, you know, they definitely have stronger heroic maps. Oh, oh, hello. Holy crap, there's somebody right there. Alright, so now my, uh, my keyboard is freaking out, and it's not letting me stop from moving. What in the world? I'm just spinning around in circles now. Alright, that fight is well, all yours. Good. What is going on? Can I sit? <laughs> don't don't ask me, guys. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, you're locked onto the target. So you can only move so many ways. Fall back and regroup. The enemy has the upper hand. Now you should be able to move. Give me a second here, guys. Let's uh, go back into full screen. Yep, now I can move. What, what was that? I was locked onto the target, and it just made me spin around mm -hmm. in circles? Yep. Huh, okay. Well, I, I didn't do that, <laughs> at least as far as I know. <laughs> and then I hit uh, shift too many times or something, and it, it kicked me out of full screen. So, again, guys, I do apologize. Uh, I'll have to go back and look and see what that did to the video. But hopefully... Not too bad, but we did miss that fight. So uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about that cipher. What was that like? It hurt <laughs> a lot, mm. but you were able to do it all on your own. So yeah, well, your pet helped a little bit. Too. Oh, was he? Okay, well, at least at least yeah. I was in that fight somewhat. Ooh, but the next fight, next fight looks interesting. 
There's a pirate guard, actually three pirate guards. One of them looks a little bit more uber than the others. Nice. I think we're gonna be relying on Cypher. Oof, I don't wanna do that. Uh, All right, level 23 see. heroic, one arrow up. Yep, yep, they all have one arrow up. Let me know when you're ready. Ah, you locked him in place. That's not good. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't use your area effect spells that way. That's true. But I can blow him up. Singular. Ah, pretty here he easily. goes. Okay, two down, one to go. Feel kind of bad. Like they don't have, they don't stand a chance against us. I'll eat your heart for your cowardice. Yes, that's right. I uh, I killed it from fifty percent health. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. All right. Let's rush in. Do earthquake. Summon help. We have invaders. Ooh yeah. Not only does that spell look cool, but it also knocks them down. Now tell tell me a little bit about your spells. What is the one that you seem to be casting a lot? What's what's your most favorite? Which one looks cool? Uh, Firebolt seems to be the best. Uh, single target. And then I have um, my Firestorm, which is my multi-target, which seems to be doing the best. And do you have a favorite one for as far as the looks category goes? I just count, but I don't have that spell yet. <laughs> like that one right there that's raining down the flames from above? That one looks pretty sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One more mob. I have no idea how deep this is taking. This is pretty deep, though. Yep. We could technically run through and pick up like two or three of these groups. You think we'd probably be able to handle that, right? Yep. Might try that. Um, especially since um, I can boost 25% more damage out of my AoE. How do you do that? Um, it's just an AA that I have. Cover me while we regroup. Somebody find a way to get us out of here. Treasure chest, thunderbolt, fury. Well, no fury here, but Not us. <laughs> we'll take it. All right, let's go ahead and. Oh, hello. That's the end. This is this is all. That's it. Wonder if they're gonna drop some loot off of this guy. Do not surrender to the invaders. Ooh, I like the the bricks from above. Come on, come on. You can do it, short fry. Ah, okay, so we did get a chest out of that. That would be our third chest while we're in here. A rusted pirate. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> not really chest worthy, but okay. No. Anything on the tables? Nope, just pirates uh, sleeping in the, in the dirt. All right, well, I'm going to sit down and have some dinner. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I am starving. It does look like bones and porridge. So, you know, not, not the best combination. And all the beer is gone. What? They drink all the beer? Yep. D don't don't you kind of feel like the little dwarves in the, the Hobbit when they find out that it comes in like a liter? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Look at this drink right here. It is half the size of me. That's like drinking a beer that goes up to your waist. Like, that is nuts. Yeah, right. man. I'll fill you up. Well, we, uh, we did finish off the zone.
kind of short, not what as I was expecting. Not very much to look at either, a lot of cave walls. So if you like going through like a rat infested hole, there had to be a quest for this area, right? I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know. I remember finding it before, and um, anyway, there's another one. I can't remember where it is. I think it's off of Antonica on an island, and it's super hard. Well, we'll check it out if we can find it. But I believe these don't reset very quickly, so if we do happen to pick up no. the quest... Hopefully the quest is not to kill somebody in here. Otherwise, we're just kind of boned ourselves. Um, oh, there's a rock. Leave the cave. Okay, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there is a way out. But guys, I think we're going to go Leave ahead and uh, in the episode there, in between this episode and the next one, we're going to go see if we can get Cypher his uh, book so that maybe we can start checking out some of the uh, livestock that's over here, and that might lead to another quest down the road. As always, guys, definitely want to thank you all for coming out and joining us. I'm AC Gamer. This is Cypher Day. Till next time. Like. And subscribe. Hey, guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.